Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to day two of digital learning. I hope yesterday you guys all had a chance to go around, explore Schoology, um, my choice board I made, get into quizzes, look in your Google Classroom, um, and just get a chance to get familiar with all of this craziness that is now new to all of us. Um, if you have not already, please, please, please let me know if you need any assistance with the choice board or with Google Classroom, with Schoology, with logging into anything, with needing a computer, with needing Wi-Fi, whatever it is, food, whatever it is, please, please, please let me know or else we cannot help you if we don't know, okay? So we are here to help you. We are here to assist you because who knows how long we're going to be doing this. This is our new normal and for now, I want to be here to support you guys. Um, so I am here today to share with you guys a math lesson. Um, just because we're not in school doesn't mean that we can't be learning still and learning new things at that. So um, in case you don't know, or if you're a parent watching to share with your kids or maybe you're sitting with your kids to watch this, um, we have been doing fractions in math lately. So today we, we've covered the basics of fractions our denominators on the bottom, numerators on top. We've talked about unit fractions. We've talked about how to look at um, a model and tell what the shaded part is out of the whole. And we know the bottom part of our denominator tells us um, how many pieces are in the whole. And then on the top tells us how many are shaded or how many were eaten or how many are missing or how many are there, whatever it is. So today I wanna to share with you guys how to compare fractions with denominators that are the same. So when we talk about comparing fractions with denominators that are the same, that means our bottom number stays the same and our top number is going to be different. Okay. So when we compare fractions, we use three signs, just three. Okay. And I guarantee you, you're familiar with these because you've seen them in your symphony math. So our three signs are greater than, less than, and equal to. I know you've seen these. You're like, yes, Ms. Morrison, I've seen them. So if we were just using normal numbers, let's say I have seven and four, we all know which way our alligator mouth is gonna be facing. It's gonna be facing the seven, because let's think, if I had seven donuts, and you know Ms. Morrison loves donuts, if I had seven donuts or four donuts, and I had to pick, I'm gonna pick seven. You guys already know that. So we know seven is our bigger number, but let's say we have three on one side and we have three on the other side. Then what is gonna go in the middle? Well, we know our equal sign is gonna go in the middle, okay? So pretty simple stuff. Um, but now, so we're gonna take that same concept and we're gonna put it into fractions, okay? So I have created a couple of models for you guys and if you want to create these models at home, if you have construction paper, if you have copy paper, if you have notebook paper, whatever it is, you can make these fraction strips at home because I know we've done them in class. And if you don't remember, Ms. Morrison can definitely share the directions. Um, and I guarantee you, you didn't bring your fraction strips home, which is okay because Ms. Morrison didn't bring hers home either. Whoops. So here we are making them at home, okay? So what I want to start out with is our... Um, first example, we have our one hole at the top and Miss Morrison made fours, okay, here. So I have one fourth here and then three fourths on the bottom. So in my fractions, I made one fourth and three fourths. I know this is backwards. That's driving me crazy too. Um, so if I have my one fourth and I have my three fourths, we know, we can see that our denominators are the same and our numerators are the only thing that is changing. Yes, this is backwards, once again, it's driving me crazy, but we can figure it out together, okay? So, one and three. All we have to say is, okay, ask yourself, is one bigger, looking at our model, is one bigger or is three bigger? Well, you guys are super smart and know that it's gonna be facing our alligator mouth is going to be open towards our three fourths because we would want three fourths of the pizza, not one fourth of the pizza. We are hungry. Okay. So next example, 
we have three eighths and two eighths. So you can see here I have my hole. I've got one, two, three eighths. Then I've got one, two, two eighths, okay? Again, think of this like a candy bar. If we had a candy bar and there was three eighths of the candy bar here and two eighths of the candy bar here, if you love chocolate, you're gonna want the bigger piece or the more pieces, right? So if I've got three eighths and two eighths, again, our denominator is the same. So all we have to do is look at our numerators. Three and two, which one's bigger? We know three is bigger than two. So our alligator mouth is gonna be open real wide to that three eighths, okay? All right, last one. Last one, we have a hole. We've got four eights here, and we got four eights here. Do you see those are the exact same? They look the same, they are the same. So that means we've got four eights and four eights, and we're gonna put a nice equal sign in the middle because equal means same, okay? So those are your three examples, those three visuals. I will be taking a picture and posting those into a folder on Schoology called Comparing Fractions with the Same Denominator, okay? Also on that same, in that same folder, I'm gonna have some quizzes or just one quizzes made with about 20, 15 to 20 questions for you to practice on and you can do it over and over and over and over and over again, okay? If you wanna make some fraction strips to help you visualize it, I would love for you to do that. If you can do it without the fraction strips, that's awesome as well, okay? So before we um, end this video, I wanna give you just a couple more examples um, for you to answer on your own and then we'll review them together. So I've got a couple different, I got four problems for you to look at and do with me, okay? It's kind of like our guided practice before I send you off. So, let me finish writing these out. All right, first one. We've got one half and one half. What's gonna go in the middle of one half and one half? You're saying the same fraction, so it's gotta be a, I hope you said equal sign, because you would be correct. Next one, we've got three-fourths and one-fourth. One fourth. Remember, we're looking at the top number. Three, one. Three, one. Which one's bigger? Three. So our alligator mouth should be open towards the three-fourths. Okay? Oh, next one. We've got seven-eighths and three-eighths. Again, we know if I have seven pieces of chocolate or if I have seven gummy worms versus three gummy worms, we would want the seven gummy worms. I know you guys, you guys love candy. You would want the seven eights out of the three eights, okay? So again, our mouth would be open towards the seven eights. Last one, we've got three six and one six. Imagine you've got a big old piece of birthday cake or a whole birthday cake. You cut it into six, okay? Do you want the three pieces of cake or you want the one piece of cake and you know it's your favorite birthday cake. So tell mom, tell brother, tell sister, tell dog, tell whoever, three six, one six. Which one's greater? We all know, three six. All right, so that is just a quick little lesson for you guys over comparing fractions with the same denominator, okay? So now from here, remember, I'm gonna take pictures of all of these and put them in the Schoology folder the folder will be labeled comparing fractions with the same denominator, okay? Um, you will find the pictures for uh, that I use in this video. You will find the quizzes there. You will find, you can also go to Pearson. Remember, go to Clever. Go to uh, EasyBridge, the white little app that says EasyBridge in it. You're gonna click on that. It'll tell you Marietta City Schools, you'll go through. When you get to your Pearson, remember click on classes and then you'll see quick check. I think it's 13, maybe dash four, dash five. I'll make sure I write it in the comments for you, okay? Um, remember, please, 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 please let me know what I can do for you. If you have any questions, if you need me to explain something, if you need um, assistance with technology, with internet, with food, like I said, anything you need, 
please let us know. We cannot help unless we are aware, okay? Um, remember that the buses are coming around with breakfast and lunch at your kid's bus stop. The kid or your student, your child has to be there to get the food. The parent cannot go. You may walk with the child, but the child has to be there to receive the food, okay? Um, as soon as I get more updates, I'm always going to be sending them out. I've been sending stuff through email and through Dojo, okay? So please make sure you are checking them regularly as we are not in school, so I'm constantly sending out things, okay? Um, I miss you guys. I love you guys. I hope you have learned from this video, and I'll check back with you guys soon.